Hey, 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 what's going on? It's Alicia Fitful Circle. And now that I am filming this, I am a 43 year old mom of five. Um, it used to be 42, but I had my birthday a few weeks ago. So 43 year old mom of five in the best shape of my life. Seriously, I think with um, just like wine, with age, we like get better. Well, we can, it's a choice, totally. Um, but hey, I wanted to come on here and give you a little extra. I've already gotten my workout in for the day with the program I'm currently doing, but I just had like, and I had this, I was like, I need to get one of these out, not just a core workout, because I do a lot of those, but this is a full body workout. We're just doing reps, like doing it as quick as we can, not a lot of rest in there. We'll do like 10 reps of each working the whole body, rotating between um, different variations of planks and push-ups to um, squats and lunges, things like that. And uh, I've got nine different moves. We're gonna do 10 reps of each. <sighs> um, oh, I just took a little extra pre-workout because um, like seriously, my pre-workout is life. Like it helps me so, 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 so much. But be careful of the pre-workouts that you take because there's a lot of junk out there and ones that make you feel jittery and nasty and yucky and they've got junk in them. And I'm, I'm all about, like, I am a food and supplement snob. Like, there's a lot of junk out there and none of that will be going in my, this body, this temple, right? Um... But yeah, I'm totally a food snob and a supplement snob. Like there's not a lot of stuff that I will take. There are some good ones out there, but very few. If you need help like on that, I'm happy to help you figure and navigate it yourself. Um, I'm happy to recommend what I use. But anyhow, um, I hope you have been doing well. Um, if you followed my story, my mom is still struggling with um, brain cancer. It's the same, I don't know if you've, if I don't really follow politics, but this caught my attention because I saw, um, I go and help out my parents a lot and sometimes they'll have it on. Um, I don't watch the news a lot either. But John McCain, Senator John McCain has the same thing that my mom has. Glioblastoma multiforme, GBM. The most aggressive brain cancer there is. Um, there is treatment. But even with treatment, like it doesn't really prolong maybe a few months, the lifespan. There's no cure. Um, so it kind of sucks and it sucks watching someone you love deteriorate that quickly. But thank God we are here um, on the same property as my parents. So I'm able to help my mom and see her. Um, we've had good times with her before this all happened and um, able to help my dad. They've been married for 50 years, so that's a big thing. I can't imagine him being by himself and trying to manage everything. Like, he, seriously, it's such a blessing. God brought us back here for a reason. So, anyway, um, you may not notice where I'm at. Like, if you've been following and seeing, this used to be, like, just all the framework. Well, we're little by little, we are... Um, fixing it up, working on it. So we've got walls now. We're not gonna do the floor until we finish the rest of the space, which hasn't, you know, cause it'll get all junky and messy. But, and like our cool little picket wall, we haven't, we just have half of it done. We haven't finished the other half. But, anywho, just wanna say hey, and here I am, let's get this going. Like I was giving my pre-workout a chance to kick in. So I may be a little tired, I'll do my best here. This is unedited, unscripted, just me, raw me, little old me doing a workout with you. And um, there are, I will give you options for um, like the push-ups, you can do them on your knees, um, stuff like that. And, hmm. And like, you, know, you can take the jumps out of the, the squats and lunges and just step. So anyway, let's get this done. I'm already four and a half minutes in. So we're gonna start, we're gonna switch. I had, see I had to get on my knees to get, cause it's not edited, it's raw, and it's like live with you. Um, so 
just keeping the camera in that one position. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll try and speak loud enough. I need to get one of those little mics, right? So we're going to start with a regular push-up. So hands a little bit wide and you're going to push up and side. Okay. If the leg is too much, just turn to the side. And if you're doing on your knees, you can push up side. There you go. All different variations of that you do what you're comfortable with all right so we're gonna do ten of those so five on each side ten push-ups y'all ready let's go and the wider your feet in your push-up you have a better base of support Four. These are slow and controlled. That's seven. Number two, y'all. So this is, we're gonna get down to the squat and we're gonna hop two times, run it back. Now you can just step it, okay? You do you and challenge yourself though. You can start with the hops and then step. tight, chest up, this is four I believe, and your feet are a little wider, pointing out, because you're like a frog, this is seven I think, Get off on counting. Ten. Woo! All right. Number three. Oh man. This is a low plank, so you're gonna be on your forearms. You can get a mat or a towel. You're gonna bring one leg in, in, and kick out. You can put a knee down. Same thing. So your butt will naturally come in a little bit when you bring that knee in, but you want to flatten back out to your neutral spine, neutral position, right? And tuck in those abs, that core. We're going to do 10 on each side. So stay on one side and then we'll do the other side. Okay, here we go. So you're crunching in. Ten. Let that one leg rest. Now, other side. Oh, 
Holy smokes, my abs were on fire, lower abs that time. All right, what is this? All right, so this is almost like the frog hops, but in reverse. A little, well, kinda. Sorry, I keep having that. My pants. We're gonna do a big broad jump forward and then hop it back, okay? So, big jump, three hops back, okay? You wanna land softly in your knees. You know, you don't wanna land stiff. Remember back to when you were a kid, you would jump off something and you land soft into those knees. And you're still, even though you're jumping, you still wanna land toe vault where you rock back to the heels. Yeah? All right, let's go. That was one. Hopefully it's not shaking the camera too much. Three. Because I am on the second floor. Core and tight every time. Count it as five. Don't hate me if we do one extra. Six. again. Oh. Oh. We are on to donkey rocks. I got this from one of my classes I teach. So you're going to be like you're on all fours and then you're going to lift your knees just a, a few inches above the ground and you're going to rock forward and back. You can if you cannot lift your, you can just do it, but make sure you're tightening that core, like you're feeling something. All right, here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, slowly. You gotta let the blood come back up. All right, so this is a three pulse split lunge jump. So we're just pulsing for three and then you're gonna switch. You can step it in and out as well. Maybe I should turn this way. I don't know. All right, y'all ready for this? A few breaths. Let's go. So two will be one, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two. Two. Holy lost count. Because I was going every other, and then I was like, well, it'd be easier to just count them all to 20. So I don't know about you, but my legs are burning. Mm. Holy 
these smokes. All right, Whew. I think that's good. We're burning. Okie dokie. This one's tough. It's a tricep push-up, so where your elbows will, or military, whatever you want to call it, where your um, elbows will scrape the sides. They're not out here, they're right by your side. And we're gonna jack the feet out at the same time. Now you can split that up. You can do, here let me show you, it's gonna be that. Now you can knee push up, come up, jack it out. Or you could do the push up and then jack your feet. Do what you can do, right? And I'm gonna start doing the full thing. I may drop down, we'll see. Depends on how I'm feeling. I'm gonna push as hard as I can now. 10 of these. All right, let's go. Here we go. Four. left guys okay. all right so we've got these plie creepers we're gonna start in a narrow squat bring it out a little and all the way and then back in you can step that as well okay the lower you go the harder more challenging Get a deep breath in. Are you all ready? Here we go. and your feet start to come out and then they go back in okay core is always in tight chest is up flat back that was seven these burn Every area, inner outer thighs, booty, hamstrings, your quads. Last exercise. All right, so this is a plank. And we're gonna push back and push up. Push back. You can do it from your knees, but I want to make sure you've got your, I don't want to see that, right? Tuck those hips under. Anytime you do a push up from your knees or from your feet. You don't want any butts up in the air, nor do you want them seeking down. All right, y'all ready? We got 10 of these. And this is it. Okay, here we go. So back.
to take a little breather. I'm gonna finish two or three more. Back. is it guys that was like 15 minutes you could totally do that again for a more complete workout and then you could skip through my uh, or just do it on your own skip through my talking and modifications and all that all right guys I hope you enjoyed that please share with friends um, that's the biggest compliment I can get is when you share my stuff and uh, the message that you know just because we get older does not mean we have to just let ourselves go and when you take care of you everything else is easier is better a lot of times we put our worth in so many other things in our kids in our spouse in our job and like we forget about ourselves if we put all this energy and time in that and we kind of let ourselves go. We can make it up pretty on the outside, you know, but it's how we feel on the inside. And I know when we let ourselves go, we know, you know, it, it just brings ugly feelings of shame and regret and all this other stuff. And uh, it's been a totally mental, spiritual, emotional transformation before it became the physical as well. My physical body is just kind of representation of that transformation that I went through because once I learned to love and accept myself and give myself grace and treat myself like my own best friend, then I like truly love myself and love myself enough to take care of myself and know that as I honor and respect myself, my body, that it shows other people like they honor and respect you, your, your kids your husband or spouse or significant other, whatever, your coworkers, like anyone around you, family. So anyhow, peace out, love and hugs, and we will talk to you later. Please let me know if you do it, how you enjoy it and all that. All right, we'll talk to you later.